Alright, in this tutorial we're going to be finishing our weapon. We're going to be getting it in-game, setting up the recipes, and setting up our model for a playable weapon in Skyrim. Alright, so let's begin. We need to first load up our Skyrim master file, which I have already done. So you're going to load it up. If, you, if this is your first time, you're going to load it up. Make sure this is has a X on it. And then you're going to hit OK. So it's going to take some time. It might it might seem like it's going to freeze. That's fine. And there will be a warning that will pop up. So when that pops up, just hit Yes to All and you'll arrive at this screen right here. In my previous lesson, we replaced a weapon. We used it as reference. For mine, I used the Ebony Sword. So for this, I need to... Just type in ebony sword, and then hit all. And this will give me all the ebony sword stuff. We need to duplicate this one. I'm just going to right click, duplicate, and do the same thing for our ebony sword. And I'm going to go down. We have a recipe that we need to duplicate. And we have the actual temper weapon we need to duplicate. As you notice, it's not really refreshing. We just need to do this. Now you're going to notice we got copies of these. What we need to do now is we need to double click our first person. I want you guys to change the name to your sword name. Mine is Serpent's Edge. And then we need to replace the model with our model. I'm just going to replace my model right here, my first person model. If you guys get a warning like this, that's fine. Then yes to all. And mine's kind of hidden right now. There we go. And that's it for this. It's going to ask us if we want to create a new object. We don't want to create a new object. And press OK. It's just going to change the name. We want to do the same thing for this. This is our actual weapon. Serpent's, Serpent's Edge. I'm just going to copy that. This is the name in-game. So when, you, when you're looking at your weapon. This will be the name shown. And you can change the damage. Put 25. I'll put my critical as uh, maybe 20. You can change the skill, which skill it uses, if it's one-handed or two-handed. And you can change the actual hand it's in. With that said, we can... Well, sorry. You can actually add enchants, enchantment values, and change the value to maybe 2,000. And then you can change the reach, speed, weight of the weapon. So now we need to head over to the Art and Sound tab, which is found right here. We need to set our first person model object to our first person Serpent's Edge. If we scroll down, we should find it. Serpent's Edge. Now we have the proper first person model. Now we need to change the actual third person model. Like doing before, just hit edit right there. And then hit edit again and change it to our Serpent's Edge. Whichever model you guys are using. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this. So we're going to hit OK. We don't want to create a new object. And now we want to rename confirmation. Press OK. Now, we need to set up our recipe and our temper. So for this, I'm going to keep the base values in the recipe. I'm just going to rename it. Alright. Our created object for this recipe is... Find your weapon. So Serpent's Edge. I'll leave the requirements the way they are. Same with the conditions. We're going to need 
Ebony smithing to craft their weapon. So I'm just going to hit OK, No, and Yes. And for the temper, I'm going to do the same. Serpent's Edge. Leave the requirements and the conditions the way they are. No, and Yes. And that's pretty much all we have to do. Now we have a craftable weapon that you can go to the, the forge to craft. So another thing we want to write down is the item ID, the form ID right here. If yours is like this, drag it out, you can see the form ID. You want to mark this down. See mine is 01000. D63. To actually test yours in game, the second number always changes depending on which pack or plugin, which plugin in the hierarchy it is. So if it's the third plugin, you'd have to put three. If it's the fourth, you'd have to put four. So if you can't figure it out, just keep trying. From you can even try from zero to nine. That should do it. All we need to do now is you just go file, create archive, and it's going to te detect everything. So we got our first person mesh, our textures, and then our actual third person mesh. So you're going to pack your files. Do so like that. I'll pack. And then you're going to want to save. So we can save it as Serpent's Edge. I'll put Weapon. And hit save. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys had trouble with your texture not appearing, that's personally my fault in the last tutorial, because I saved my textures in a different spot and referenced them. So, what you want to do is open up NIF Scope if you have no textures. So, open up NIF Scope. You're going to have to re reference your textures but make sure they're in your data, textures, weapons, and whichever folder you want. Make sure they're referenced in here so it can import the textures properly. Now, they have no textures in here, because I changed the directory. So you basically want to go back in. Skyrim weapons, and then you diffuse. And then it will properly reference them. So just do that for the rest in your third and your first person model, and you should be fine. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.